Hi, this is Joey Remini from seekingbalance.com.au. I'm a vestibular audiologist and today I'm going to talk about vestibular retraining or rehabilitation therapy. I like to call this talking about vestibular exercises. So to break it down, the vestibular system is responsible for collecting information about our balance and it's sitting in the inner ear right beside the hearing organs. And the vestibular, the vestibular system has five compartments, three semicircular canals and two otoliths. And they are con collecting movement uh, vibrations, rotations, accelerations and tilts. And it's sending information from the inner ears along the vestibular nerve to the brain and the brain is sending that information along the spinal column and towards all of the balance centers in our cortex within our brain. So it's like a really big mapping system and the, vestib the vestibular system acts incredibly rapidly. So it's got lots of little cells in our inner ears and our brain and these are called neurons and they are very rapidly firing and collecting information and sending it places. Now, our inner ears communicate almost instantly with our eyes. It's really remarkable. So between our ears and our eyes, we've got these very rapid pathways moving. So whenever we move our head, our eyes move in the equal and opposite direction. And that's a vestibular ocular reflex. Vestibular meaning the balance system, ocular meaning the eyes, and reflex meaning the reflex system, like you have them throughout your whole body. So we also have vestibular spinal reflexes and these are sending information from our ears towards all parts of our body, our shoulders, our hips, our legs, our feet. So basically we have an ability to understand and feel whatever it is that's happening in our environment and to make sure we stay steady and we stay grounded and we stay balanced. So when you go through vestibular exercises or therapy or retraining, you're actually teaching the body, the brain, the spinal cord and the eyes how to receive information from the ears and use it effectively. Now, these exercises can be done with your eyes closed, with your eyes open, in stillness, um, with movement, sitting, standing, lying. They can be done with head movements, without head movements, with foot positions or um, walking or squatting or bending over. There is literally no... It's infinite. Like anything you can imagine is something that your ears, your eyes, your brain, and your spinal column are processing. So vestibular therapy is incredibly customized. It's not a cookie cutter generic model. It's not like, hey, take these exercises and repeat them three times and see you in a month. It's about going, what do I need to relearn? Which movements has my body got errors in? How can I really methodically give my body access to these new movements or new stillness or new situations that feel vulnerable and feel difficult and how can I build strength there so sometimes I use the analogy of learning the piano and you know you, you're not born necessarily knowing how to play the piano you need to get a teacher you need to learn scales you need to learn songs and you need to practice every day and when we've gone through a vestibular injury or a vestibular condition or disease or shock we actually need to retrain the body how to go through all its basic balancing um, movements and i want to really emphasize emphasize stillness often people with vestibular injuries feel yucky when they're still whether it be lying sitting or standing and you, we need to retrain that as well so vestibular therapy is very broad and in a nutshell it involves the eyes the ears the spinal column and the brain so I hope that's been helpful for you. You will need to find exercises that are specifically designed just for you. Otherwise, you can fall into the trap of repeating generic exercises that are not really beneficial for you. So I encourage you to find a good therapist. You can visit vestibular.org, the Vader Association, and you can find people like myself who will help you customize a program for you to do at home every day and reset your system so you can feel normal again. So I hope you get there and all the best.